Hi, welcome aboard. A couple of weeks ago we announced the rejuvenation of the magnificent Southern Cross Yachts manufacturing facility on the Gold Coast at the hands of Kerry Bailey, who's a well-known Tasmanian businessman and motor racing driver. Now Kerry's very serious about what he does and he inherited, he purchased actually, the freehold for a facility which put Australia on the international map as far as the design and construction of fast game fishing day baits is concerned in the late 80s and the early 90s. This was done at the hands of Mike Gore and the facility built a range of boats which were faster than anything else in the world, had magnificent styling, superb interior fit out, tremendous range and performance and which ex were exported in large numbers to fill the American market. Now the facility lay dormant for a couple of years until Kerry came along and he's rejuvenated it as I said and set it up as a very serious high volume um, quality boat production facility. Now in the process of doing that Kerry also purchased all of the assets of Fastlane Marine and in their own way Fastlane was similar to Southern Cross in that they built extremely high quality uh, very aggressively styled boats for the international market so it fitted in extremely well with the overall philosophy in other words the two brands the Southern Cross and the Fastlane uh, dovetailed together extremely well as an overall offering. Now a couple of weeks ago we showed you the Fastlane 28 which is a well deck walk around 28 footer which can be powered with a number of different engines and which comes up with a tremendous degree of interior volume, comfort, quality of basic construction of fit out and of engineering and which has the great added advantage of having a walk around well deck which greatly increases access to the forward sections of the boat for anchor handling which makes it safer to move uh, up onto the for forward deck of the boat and which makes it much easier if you're playing a large fish for that fish to be played all the way around the boat. Now at the back of the production line when we looked at the 28 in the factory was a brand spanking new Fastlane 40 also for export in this case to Hong Kong. Uh, one of the, uh, the 28s that you saw was on its way to Japan. Now the Fastlane 40 uh, was developed by Fastlane in the early 1990s and it was a logical development of the basic design philosophy of offshore power boat racing boats where they have a long fine hull with extreme V and where they are able to achieve extremely high speeds in rough water by dint of their basic design and that extreme V. Now the Fastlane 40 was the flagship of that, uh, that range and is set to be the flagship again. It has an overall length of 12.37 metres or 40 feet 7 inches a beam of 2.87 metres, or 9 foot 6, so it has a very fine um, beam to length ratio. Its dead rise is 26 degrees, which is at the upper end of accepted dead rise, dead rise levels, but because of the overall size and volume of this boat, it's still acceptably stable at rest. Um, it is normally driven by two uh, uh, 7.4 litre, 330 horsepower um, Mercruise astern drives, which give it a top speed uh, in the order of 60 miles an hour or around about um, uh, 100 kilometres an hour. Now, that is fast indeed, and it certainly fits in with the overall image of this boat. This is a boat. Uh, that's designed to go places in a hurry regardless of what the sea conditions may be and it has the dual purpose of, of having absolutely stunning looks and styling uh, which allow it to slot into whatever the marina environment, environment may be when you want to pull up and have lunch. It certainly impresses everybody who sees it so uh, it has that dual benefit and I suggest that whilst it will fit extremely well into the marinas and on the harbour in Sydney and Melbourne and particularly on the Gold Coast. It will also slot very nicely into the overall marine environment and culture in its new home which will be Hong Kong. Now on the day we shot this boat uh, we had uh, some fairly unusual bad weather on the Gold Coast. In fact it was the first day of weather that looks like that it may dr break the drought. We certainly had a bit of rain and some heavy winds and that gave us a chance to look at the boat up and running in rough sea conditions and in tight turns and uh, it certainly shows you how impressive this boat is as far as its overall presentation is concerned. The interior is laid out for comfort, it has a large sleeping section uh, up under the foredeck which you actually climb into. It also has a convertible dinette which can be converted into another, another double berth so it will sleep comfortably sleep uh, at least four people. It has a beautifully set up entertainment unit in the form of stereo and television, a fully equipped galley and 
a very comfortable walk-in, full headroom, toilet, shower compartment, but I suggest that most of the action on this boat will happen in the aft cockpit. Uh, the driving position is convertible so that you can drive either comfortably seated in reasonably calm weather or you can stand up with offshore racing boat type support seats to drive in rough conditions offshore. It has an extremely comfortable well type sun lounge across the rear engine compartment there. Uh, again excellent for sunbathing and, uh, and for lounging around and it can be covered of course with a target top to keep the sun off the occupants but I suggest that in the way in which this boat will be used, the people will, will be wearing sunglasses and plenty of block out and maintaining that overall extremely sleek styling which is enhanced by the target top. Now these boats in the hands of the new Southern Cross Marine will be affordable and reasonably priced, far more so than they were before. The build quality as far as I can ascertain is better uh, than the original fast lane. Um, Kerry Bailey is extremely serious about the way in which his boats are built and put together. He is very keen and determined to establish a market profile which leaves no doubts that Southern Cross Marine building Southern Cross boats and fast lane boats and a couple of other interesting ones which will be coming up in the future and we'll keep you posted on that, building them to absolute top quality so there can be no problems about the way in which they slot into the market. The Fast Lane 40. We'll be back right after this break.